thank you. With any luck, I'll have him in your office in five minutes. Good work, Sergeant. for some giant dogs. Or Betty called in yet? Well, I just tried a little while ago. There wasn't any answer. Well, keep trying, okay? Okay. It's strange. Mark always carries his radio. I think we're all being silly. His radio's probably just out, that's all. Look! Come on. 
This is Sergeant East. Where's Inspector Kovic? I see. Well, yes, it's important. I have something for him. I remember hearing Betty scream. When I came to, she was gone. I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what's so mysterious about it. Same giant hit you over the head with a rock, captured Betty. Yeah, but why did he take Mark, too? Why just Betty? It's eerie. Fitz, you could be right. Maybe after I got hit, Betty ran. The giant chased her and caught her, or maybe... Oh, I don't know. It's like that story about the monster. He could have grabbed all the people at once, but he grabbed them one at a time. He wanted to scare the rest. Story or reality doesn't matter. The boy is right. They're up against the monster giant. First Steve, then Betty. You never know who will be next. Oh, Fitcher, you're silly. I'm silly. If you think Fitcher, I'm silly. Get it. Look, we've got to find Steve and Betty, no matter where they are, who's got them. Well, let's go. Maybe we're we'll staying here, take it easy. No, I'll be okay. Mark, look, I can't just sit here. All right, the three of us will go. Where's your radio? I don't know. It was gone when I came to. Barry, get radios from Mark and get you. Right. If the Giants have Mark's radio, they, they can monitor our calls. We just have to risk that. We've got to stay in touch with each other. Mark. If we go back to the place where you were knocked out, maybe we can pick up a trail. You lead the way. Now you and Barry get in the spaceship, close the hatch, and stay there. You will, believe me. just around that bend. Okay, let's spread out. If we're hit, at least we won't all be hit at once. Kara's heart just waiting, not knowing if they're all right. Yes, it is. The giant had one of our radios. Why didn't we figure out a code? It wasn't time, Barry. Betty's hurt. I need some help. We're out looking for both of you right now. Where's Betty? I found her in a gully. She was wedged between some rocks. Evidently, she's fallen in there. She's unconscious. I tried to get her out, but uh, I just couldn't do it alone. It's funny. It was working a minute ago. It's dead now. Anyway, we don't have any time. We've got to get to Betty right away. Larry, I hate to leave you here right now, but it's an emergency. It's all right, Steve. Okay, when the others come back, you tell them. We're gone. Let's go. I 
away. Talk to him. He's not here now. He and Valerie went to look for Betty. Where is she? Well, he said she fell in a gully. She's hurt. What gully? Where? He just said a rocky gully. He didn't say where. Rocky gully. Who could that be? Dan? Yes, Barry. I saw which way they went. I could catch up with them easy. No, you stay there. But they just left a minute ago. Okay. Find out where Betty is and call us back. And Barry, listen. Don't go too far. If you can't catch up with them right away, forget it. Go back to camp. We'll see you there. Yes, Dad. You stay here, Chipper. Maybe I should have told him to stay there. Listen, you'll be all right. You won't have no clue how to deal with the youngsters. After all, Steve and Betty are accounted for. Yeah, but that rock that hit me is not accounted for. And Betty ran away from something. And don't forget, Mark did hear a scream. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Captain, I don't what are you doing here? Dan and Mark sent me to look for Betty. How could you talk to them? I disconnected their radio. What are you up to? Burton, I don't know what you mean. Don't lie to me. You're all in on this. But I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean. You're trying to trade me to the Giants, huh? We'll see who gets traded. Not me. Because I'm smarter than all of you. Okay. Come on now. Get to that door. Dig. 
Garrick is Salensis. Yes, sir, that's it. The, the spores are all over. It's the time of year for those treacherous things. Maybe it's just as well you lost those two little people, Sergeant. For the time being, anyway. I don't follow you, Inspector. Captain Burton and his little people are extremely loyal to each other. But have you ever seen anybody under the influence of these spores? Yes, sir. Pretty bad. It comes on fast. Paranoid fear. Suspicion? Obviously, one of our little people has already come into contact with these spores. And whichever one of them it is, is going to make a mistake. A giant mistake. In our favor. See that vent? Get over there. ready to turn over the giants like a pigeon just to save your own neck. Well, there's only one place around here that can be called the Rocky Gully. And that's up north of here, where you hid from the trapper that time, remember? I remember that. Well, what are we waiting here for? We're wasting time. I agree. Something must be wrong. We will be back by now. Bet you. You stay here in case he comes back. Wait. I don't need to stay. Better get ready when he gets back. All right, come on, Bet you. Remember, keep some distance between us.
belly's just a hit is all right, man. What's the matter? Where's Fitzy? He's right behind you. Fitzhugh? Fitzhugh, hurry up! People just don't disappear. Not without help, anyway. Well, even if a giant's doing it, why one by one? Why not just scoop all of us up and have it done with? Because it may be the way he gets his kicks. But what I don't understand is how he does it without making a sound or casting a shadow. be telling the truth. I am. I am. Believe me, Steve. This is a... I wouldn't turn you over to this ID. I wouldn't do anything against you. I'm your friend. You know it. You said you couldn't be trusted, Fitz. Why should I trust you now? You must believe me. You must believe me, Steve. It's you. Nobody fools me. Do you understand that? Nobody fools me. I knew 
either up to something. And when I heard Mark brag to Betty that the Giants would pay anything to get their hands on me, then I knew what it was. Well, I suppose Mark could have possibly meant that he would. <laughs> Turn me in for materials to repair the ship. And for their freedom to get back there. That's what he meant. It's terrible. He didn't tell me anything like that. They might even plan to turn me in. We must stop them. It's gonna be a matter of time before I get Mark and Dan. I'm gonna stop them. But I want to help you. Where are the other people? Barry and Valerie are in here. Where's Betty? That's none of your business. I don't need your help. You see, it's just a matter of time before I get Mark and Dan. But I want to help you. You must let me. I insist. Please. Steve. You gonna help? Yes. I have it off in no time. SID headquarters. SID headquarters. I want to speak to Inspector Corbett. This is Captain Kirk. Just a minute. Trace this call. Just me. That's very good odds. More than fair exchange. But what about Dan Erickson? Well, what about him? I'm canceling him out. He's in, he's included. I'm turning him in with the rest. Do you have him now? I don't. No, not yet. But I've got all the rest. They're all bound and gagged and they're, they're ready for delivery. And I'll get Dan Erickson. Uh, you say you have most of them there, Captain. When do you plan on having the others? Wait a minute. Oh, be here stalling. Don't you trace this call. Want me as 
Inspector? I just got a call from Captain Burton of the Little Paper. Seems he wants to make a deal to turn his friends over to us. Just like you figured, huh? I'm waiting to hear if they traced his call. Yes. Well, didn't you get anything? Just the briefcase. All right. Logan prefix. Well, this is the Logan area. Mostly small businesses. Logan area, mostly small businesses. Suppose there's a vacant office where the phone hasn't been disconnected yet. Sure. Sure, that's it? It might be. You want me to check out the vacant offices? Yes. But not as an SID man. You might scare him off. Pose as a telephone company. Right. Uh, get me the telephone company. Stay here and watch. Get started. Inspector! Inspector Clothing! Down here in the vent! It's nice to see you again, Captain. Now, I've come to make a deal. So, no tricks. <laughs> you know you can. Trust me. Yeah. I've learned a lot about trust. I'm making you an offer to give you five little people. Do you want them or don't you? Of course I want them. Well, I want materials to fix my ship. And I want a guarantee to be free to take off to Earth. That's my deal. Very well. Give me a list of the materials and tell me where I can meet you to make the exchange. Not so fast. We'll work out the details later. Well, just a minute. When will I contact you again? Will you come here? I'll decide that when the time comes. Back to the real estate office. Keep an eye on me. I got something to do. Check the lean to. I'll check the ship. Nobody in the ship. I'm gonna try fit you again. Oh, fit you. Come in.
Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. I've been with Valerie. We're trying to get Betty out of the gully. And something came up behind me and knocked me out. Well, what about the girls? Well, when I came to, uh, they weren't there, and I was hoping they'd be here. And Barry? Isn't he here? You left him behind. Steve, why didn't you radio for help when you found Betty? Because I lost my radio. Where's Barry? Where's Fitzhugh? Barry went to look for you and the girls and never came back. Fitzhugh was with us and disappeared. He disappeared. One minute he was right behind me and I turned around and he was gone. That's right. He just vanished. Come on, man. He must have heard something. Nothing. I'm telling you, it was weird. I don't know what's going on. But whatever it is, we're playing it right into the hands of the enemy. Well, how do you deal with an invisible enemy? Well, to begin with, we've been making the same mistakes. We've been on the defensive. Now we've got to take the initiative get on the offensive. That's fine. But how? First of all, we've got to find out who it is or what it is that's after us. And we've got to hit oh, that's, very That's very reasonable, but aren't you leaving something out? Where were you when Fitzy disappeared? Up near the gully north of here. Okay. I'm going to begin there and look for clues. Now, if you don't hear from me in, let's say, any 10 minute interval, then you come after me. That's a bit risky, isn't it? I'll be careful, Dan. I'll go with you. Let's do it the way I said. What is that stuff? I don't know. Can't seem to get it off. Give me your radio. Ten minutes, then you worry. All right, but be careful, okay? You should have let one of us go with him. Why don't you say what you really mean? Hmm? You want me to be the one out there instead of him, don't you? What's the matter with you? You can tell me what's the matter. Now, wait a minute! Mark. What's the matter with you? Unexpectedly, a couple of times, and I saw something that meant it was behind me. Where are you now, Steve? Near the gully. Now, this may be our chance. Mark, you take the trail. Can you 
find it east of the gully. I think I'll come up behind him. Got you, Steve. I'll try to keep him distracted over here. And Dan, you stay back at camp until we find out what we're up against. Right. Very clever, Captain. What did you say? Mark, it's what?
fête. Just to know the symptoms of paranoia? Just name them for me. Tell me what they are. Stupid. Tell me what they That's are. That's ridiculous. Try to keep in mind that you're worth more to the giants alive for two. <laughs> friend there.
you move. You understand that? Close by, I'll be there in five minutes. Now, Dan, don't come in the front. It's too dangerous. There's a mouse hole. Back, is that it? You got that? Right. Get you down. I'm coming after you. people could get at. It's on the floor of a vacant real estate office on South 2nd. Good. Is there any sign of Captain Burton and the little people? I couldn't see. The door was locked and I didn't have the right pass key. Let's go.
and try setting us up again, Steve. Toadstool dust made you violent. Are you all right? It's coming this way. The SID traced the number after all. <laughs> Nothing here, sir, but little bits of cloth. Like a mouse might be starting a nest. Like a mouse? Look for a mouse, old sergeant. There's one here somewhere. Circulation's back. I can walk now. I'm sorry. twisted ankle. I'm at the spaceship. I just got here. What happened to you? Listen, Steve must be out of his mind. He was taking me into town when I hurt my ankle. And he just tied me up by a goof hole and left me there. Well, I escaped, but watch out, Dan. He's... Benny. He's all right now. We're coming in. Can you take him? With any luck, I'll have him in your office in five minutes. Good work, Sergeant.
gotten very far with a bad ankle. Well, we have to find him before some giant does. <laughs> called in yet? Well, I just tried a little while ago. There wasn't any answer. Well, keep trying, okay? Okay. It's strange. Mark always carries his radio. I think we're all being silly. His radio's probably just out, that's all. Look! Sergeant East, where's Inspector Kovic? I see. Well, yes, it's important. I have something for him. I remember hearing Betty scream. When I came to, she was gone. I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what's so mysterious about it. Same giant, he'd give it head with a rock, captured Betty. Yeah, but why did he take Mark, too? Why just Betty? It's eerie. Fitz, you could be right. Maybe after I got hit, Betty ran. The giant chased her and caught her, or maybe... Well, I don't know. It's like that story about the monster. He could have grabbed all the people at once. They grabbed him one at a time. 
going to scare the rest. Story or reality doesn't matter. The boy is right. They're up against the monster giant. Both Steve and Betty. You never know who will be next. <laughs> Fitcher, you're silly. I'm silly. If you think you won't get it. Look, we've got to find Steve and Betty, no matter where they are, who's got them. Well, let's go. Yeah, Mark. Maybe you better stay here, take it easy. No, I'll be okay. Mark, look, I can't just sit here. All right, the three of us will go. Where's your radio? I don't know. It was gone when I came to. Barry, get radios from Mark and get you. The Giants have Mark's radio. They they can monitor our calls. We just have to risk that. We've got to stay in touch with each other. Mark, if we go back to the place where you were knocked down, maybe we can pick up a trail. You lead the way. Now you and Barry get in the spaceship, close the hatch, and stay there. You will, believe me. It's not far now, it's just around that bend. Okay, let's spread out. If we're hit, at least we won't all be hit at once. Sure is hard just waiting, not knowing if they're all right. Yes, it is. The giant had one of our radios. Why didn't we figure out a code? There wasn't time, Barry. He's hurt. I need some help. We're out looking for both of you right now. Where's Betty? I found her in a gully. She was wedged between some rocks. Evidently, she's fallen in there and she's unconscious. I tried to get her out, but uh, just couldn't do it alone. <laughs> It's funny. It was working a minute ago. It's dead now. Anyway, we don't have any time. We've got to get to Betty right away. Mary, I hate to leave you here right now. It's an emergency. It's all right, Steve. Okay, when the others come back, you tell them. We'll be gone. Let's go. Just 
picked a bad time to go dead. Talk to him. He's not here now. He and Valerie went to look for Betty. Where is she? Well, he said she fell in a gully. She's hurt. What gully? Where? He just said a rocky gully. He didn't say where. Rocky gully. Where could that be? Dan? Yes, Barry. If I saw which way they went, I could catch up with him easy. No, you stay there. But they just left a minute ago. Okay. Find out where Betty is and call us back. And Barry, listen. Don't go too far. If you can't catch up with them right away, forget it. Go back to camp. We'll see you there. Yes, Dan. You stay here, Chipper. Maybe I should let him stay there. This may be all right. You men have no clue how to deal with the youngsters. After all, Steve and Betty are accounted for. Yeah, but that rock that hit me is not accounted for. And Betty ran away from something. And don't forget, Mark did hear a scream. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Think you're going. Captain, I don't what are you look. doing here? Dan and Mark sent me to look for Betty. How could you talk to them? I disconnected their radio. What are you up to? Burton, I don't know what you mean. Don't lie to me. You're all in on this. But I don't know what you mean. I don't know what I mean. You're trying to trade me to the Giants, huh? We'll see who gets traded. Not me. Because I'm smarter than all of you. Okay. Come on now. Get to that door. found this suit. It's one of their radios. Be careful, Inspector. It's covered with that toadstool dust. Tegaricus salensis. Yes, sir, that's it. The, the spores are all over it. It's the time of year for those treacherous things. Maybe it's just as well you lost those two little people, Sergeant. For the time being, anyway. I don't follow you, Inspector. 
Captain Burton and his little people are extremely loyal to each other. But have you ever seen anybody under the influence of these spores? Yes, sir. Pretty bad. Comes on fast. Paranoid fear. Suspicion. Obviously, one of our little people has already come into contact with these spores. And whichever one of them it is, is going to make a mistake. A giant mistake. In our favor. See that vent? Get over there. Trying to be so. 